Hey guys, welcome back to another part of the SQLite quest tutorial. So originally I planned to finish this series with part 13, but a comment that comes up a lot is how to add more questions to the quiz later on, or more categories. This is actually pretty simple, and the only reason I didn't implement this earlier is because I didn't want to prepare another user interface for that, where we can take the input, because I didn't want to blow this tutorial up too much. What we will do instead is, we will only add the necessary methods in this video, and you can then yourself decide where you call this method, how you take user input for the new question, and so on. So one option to add more questions is, by just adding them to the fill questions table method, like we did with our first couple of questions, or similarly for fill categories table. But as I already mentioned before, this will only be executed in our onCreate method. And the onCreate method is only called the first time we open this database, or when we increase the version number here, which would then trigger on upgrade, which drops the table and calls onCreate again. So after you made changes to any of these fill methods, you either have to increment the version number or uninstall the app and reinstall it. Otherwise the changes won't be applied. This is useful if you for example just want to add more questions yourself and ship them with an update to your app, for example over the Play Store. But if we want to give the user the option to add his own questions, we have to use a different approach, because he can't change the version number himself. Okay, so at the moment we add our categories and questions over the add category and add question methods. Now one idea would be to just make these methods public so we can call them from the outside, but this wouldn't be enough because this database variable here could be null. When onCreate is called, we get PEST, an SQLite database, and we assign this variable to our member variable. This is why this variable is not null the first time we access our database. But as I already mentioned before, this onCreate method isn't called all the time. This means the DB variable in our add methods could be null, which then would cause a crash. Okay, then the idea would be, why don't we just call DB equals get writable database? This way we have access to the database and the variable is never null. But there are two problems with this approach. First of all, this is called unnecessarily often, because we call these methods multiple times in a row. And actually this wouldn't even work, because if the database is accessed for the first time, get writable database triggers on create. And when we then call get writable database while we are still executing on create, this will try to call on create again, and we would create recursion, which would actually throw an error and our app would crash. So we can't call this method in here. Instead we will wrap another method around this, where we open the database and then call add category or add question. So let's start with add category. First of all we click on it and press shift F6 because we want to rename this method to a insert category. This name is a bit more fitting for what it actually does. And I want to use the name add category for our new method, which we then call from the outside. Important it has to be public, no return type, and we call it add category. And it takes a category object with our package name. And what we do in here is actually pretty simple. We take our DB member variable and call get writable database. This time we don't get recursion because we don't call it within our onCreate method. And then we simply have to call our insert category method and forward this category object. And we can call get writable database multiple times, because the database we get returned here is cached anyways, so we don't create a new one all the time. It's always the same. But it makes sense to add another method where we can add multiple categories at once, and only call this get writable database method one time. So let's create another public void, and call it add categories, where we pass a list of category objects, and we call it categories. And we do the same in here, db equals get writable database, and then we simply loop through our list for each category, category in categories. We want to call insert category and pass this category. So call this method if you want to add multiple categories at once, and this method if you only want to add one category at a time. And then we just have to do the same for our questions. So let's go below our fill questions table method, but you can put it wherever you want. And we rename add question to insert question. And then we do the same here as well. Public void add question. And it takes a question. And we do the same. Get writable database. We call insert question. 
and forward this question. Then we create one for a list. DB, uh, get writable database, a for loop for each question, question, in questions, insert question, question. Pretty simple. And if you want to update or delete questions or categories, the approach is the same. You have to assign the database variable with a writable database, and then you can do whatever SQLite operation you want. Okay, and then whenever you want to call this method, you simply get the handle to the QuizDB helper with QuizDB helper .get instance as usual. And now we can call our public methods, add question, category, questions, or categories, where you pass the appropriate argument. And this will then add it into the database. So you could, for example, add another screen where you take user input and then turn this input into a question and add it into the database. Or you could just hardcode these questions if you don't want to take user input. Okay, that's it. If this video was helpful, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Take care.